I was visiting family recently and one of my aunts was gonna cook breakfast for our whole group. So being curious, I went over to see what she was getting to, ready to make and I saw she had a batch of eggs. Well, to my shock and horror, I noticed she was cracking the eggs open and screaming out the egg whites into a bowl and throwing out the egg yolks into the sink. I asked, why are you doing that? And she replied something like, because I thought that's where all the fat and cholesterol is in the egg yolks. So I replied something along the lines of, you mean that's where all the nutrition is? This is a perfect example of how confused most people are about nutrition. In a world full of misinformation about nutrition, somehow most people now mistakenly think that the egg yolk is the worst part of the egg, when in fact, the yolk is the healthiest part of the egg. It's a shame how many restaurants you walk into these days and see that a healthy breakfast is one that only has egg whites in it. Anyway, I didn't shoot this video to grill you on egg yolks versus egg whites. That was just a side benefit. Today's video is specifically about how a specific nutrient in eggs can protect you from fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease is becoming increasingly common in the United States. It affects one out of every five people and is a major risk factor for liver failure, as well as diabetes, heart attacks, and even cancer. In the United States, it is the most common liver disease there is. We all know that your liver is one of the primary organs in our bodies, and of course, we can't live without it. When the liver gets over, overloaded with sugar, starches, and the wrong types of carbohydrates, it starts making fat like crazy. This is the body's normal response to excess glucose. But more importantly, high fructose corn syrup puts your liver into overdrive and really turns on the fat production. Because high fructose corn syrup has found its way into virtually all processed foods and drinks, it is a primary cause of fatty liver syndrome, as well as numerous other health issues. Having fatty liver disease comes with a cascade of health issues. First of all, high blood sugar, high levels of inflammation and insulin resistance point you towards diabetes and obesity. As fat builds up in the liver and surrounding organs, Visceral fat is a precursor to many serious chronic diseases. If you have insulin resistance, you're well on your way to getting diabetes. And if you don't address your insulin resistance, it's gonna be very difficult for your body to wanna to help you lose any amount of weight. Excess abdominal fat also elevates LDL cholesterol when combined with excess inflammation, making you a prime candidate for heart attacks. What's even more shocking is that this disease is not a disease that just middle aged or older people get. Children as young as 10 and 12 years old are starting to get this disease from spending their childhood drinking uh, juices with added sugars, drinking soda, candy, fast food, and you name it. And, and also a lot of lack of activity. So what does this all have to do with eggs? Research now shows that Choline deficiency, a key nutrient found in egg yolks and beef liver, is one of the key risk factors that may trigger fatty liver disease. Choline deficiency actually appears to be even more significant trigger for fatty liver disease than high fructose corn syrup. So when you combine a low choline diet with excessive carbohydrates, especially the wrong ones, you're almost guaranteed to develop fatty liver disease at some point. Choline is a nutrient found in high quantities in, you guessed it, egg yolks, and also beef liver, legumes, nuts, uh, grass-fed beef, and leafy, uh, big leafy greens. Choline is an essential component of our cell membranes and is required for the synthesis of phospholipids. Choline also helps our bodies create the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is important for memory, mood, muscle control, and other brain and nervous system functions. So to say it's important is an understatement. To top it off, it also works with the metabolism of, of B vitamins as well. Many people are low in choline due to dietary restrictions, like trying to eat low saturated fat, avoiding egg yolks, not eating uh, high quality proteins. Uh, a lot of vegetarians and vegans are uh, have a choline deficiency because they're avoiding the foods that have a high amounts of choline. 
So how can we prevent or reverse fatty liver disease? Like most diseases, you can reverse fatty liver disease by changing your diet. Strictly eliminating foods containing fructose and high fructose corn syrup, as well as sucrose and other added sugars is a great first step. Essentially, there are two main types of food to avoid. I wanna keep this list short so it's not overwhelming to you. So first we have processed foods, especially any foods containing added sugars, corn syrup, and high fructose corn syrup. Avoid those. The second group are vegetable seed oils, such as soybean oil, canola oil, sunflower, corn, safflower, and cottonseed oil, and peanut oil. Vegetable oils are probably at the top of my list for, if I had to, if I had to give the advice to avoid one type of food, I would actually say to avoid vegetable oils before high fructose corn syrup. They can literally destroy your liver and your ability to burn fat. So now you know what to avoid. What about foods to eat more of, aside of course from egg yolks, which is what this video is about. Grass-fed liver is one of the healthiest, most underrated foods you can eat. If you don't want to eat grass-fed liver, it's also really difficult to find. It's not really that expensive, but it is hard to get your hands on. They, they do have uh, supplements now that will provide you a really good benefit if you uh, don't have access to beef liver. Uh, also naturally raised meats, chicken, and fish. You may need to consider eating these if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, at least in small amounts. Uh, beans and peas and other liver boosting foods like artichokes, arugula, and dandelion. I just mentioned supplements, so uh, I'll go over a few supplements that you can start taking specifically to help heal the liver and deal with the overloading of toxins. Uh, there's lecithin, which is high in choline, uh, a multivitamin, specifically with high amounts of B vitamins. Milk thistle is really great for promoting liver health and detoxification. Zinc, selenium, collagen, protein, and peptides uh, shown to help uh, reduce liver fat by up to 20%. Green tea is really great, if, especially if you're trying to limit the caffeine. Caffeine can also be tough on the hard on the liver. Uh, other supplements like probiotics, resveratrol, uh, curcumin, turmeric, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin D may also help improve liver health. And of course, don't forget regular exercise, which can help burn off excess glucose, increase your insulin sensitivity, and help you lose weight. Remember. Addressing insulin and insulin resistance specifically is one of the first steps that any good weight loss program should address. So bottom line, eat more eggs, and of course, don't be afraid of the egg yolks. If you're gonna separate anything, then take out the egg whites. Try not to take out anything because the egg in and of itself is one of nature's perfect multivitamin, high protein, super foods. And remember, not all eggs are created equal. Eggs you find at your local farmer's market or organic pasture-raised eggs are ideal. Thanks for watching the Upgraded Health channel. Subscribe for more videos for health-focused weight loss advice. We'll see you for the next one.